Hi everybody, my name is Martin and I work at Recoft. Hello everyone, my name is Bobby and I work in Recoft. So Bobby, you know, when we speak about forest communities, it's evident how important their role is in the forestry sector. Not just for the global economy and to their role in production of forest products and value chains, but also as custodians of a natural forest. Yeah, absolutely, Martin. Forest communities play an invaluable role in combating environmental challenges like deforestation and desertification. And it is important to consider both environmental and livelihood aspects together when it concerns forest communities. One of our goals at Recoff, you know, Martin, is to ensure that communities are able to derive increased benefits on economics from the forest landscape they manage. This includes access to forest-based jobs, the establishment of suitable enterprises, and improved access to finance in a green, low-carbon economy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the future we envision at Recoft, a future where forest communities are benefiting from healthy, resilient, and forest landscapes. And engaging with the private sector can facilitate the prosperity, fostering sustainable development, and promoting greater economic resilience. And recognizing that community forest management practices should align with different certification schemes, mm. a growing interest in green economy development, and the European Union's reforestation regulation, yeah. all potentially striving towards creating an ecosystem of economics, empowerment, and environmental balance. Mm. So the EU deforestation regulation, Bobby, the one you just mentioned, it will have a potential impact on communities and smallholders who produce commodities near and in the forest landscapes. These commodities are wood, rubber, cacao, coffee, oil palm, soy, and cattle. And the recent Recoff training manual we developed, which is supporting the uh, promotion of legal and sustainable trade of wood products, it can be adapted to these new regulations, we believe. Interesting, Martin, and I agree the manual includes many practical tools to prepare communities to comply with legality requirements. In particular, it provides forest communities and other stakeholders with skills to effectively collaborate in value chains and respond to due diligence requirements. You know, what I like about the manual, it can be adapted. And regardless to the region, the challenge, all the tools in there can be applied by every community involved in forest value chains. All the tools are very effective to help them with organization, negotiation, and partnership establishment, especially with sourcing private sector companies. And it has been proven effective in previous trainings in Laos, in Myanmar, and in Thailand. Yeah, you're right. Collaboration is key, Martin, particularly with private sector that you just mentioned. Building transparent and equitable partnerships within the value chain is how we can ensure sustainability. Sustainability relies on partnerships providing benefits to both communities and private sector. Win-win, as we like to say. This contributes to RECOP's mission. Yes, Bobby, our mission. I think it remains the same and it's clear. To strengthen capacities, rights and governance to ensure that local people can maintain and benefit fairly from sustainable managed forests. And might I add, sustainable value chains. Precisely, Martin. The overall impact we want to see is that resilient communities sustainably and equitably manage forest landscapes in collaboration with other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Thereby, we want to ensure that these landscapes provide goods and services that benefit our community members and wider population, including by contributing to climate action and biodiversity. Thank you everyone for listening. Well, thanks everybody, and if you want to know more about our work, please visit our website, www.recoff.org.